Hello and welcome in everybody. If you're here, you're probably wondering about customizing your keyboard. This is something I recently got interested in after seeing a few other custom keyboards people had that look amazing and I said I wanted that for myself. Um, I went full on into it. I bought the wrong things not knowing that there was wrong things you could buy. I thought any keycap would go into any keyboard and for the more experienced of you out there, you know that's not true, but for those of you who don't know, uh, you're about to learn. Um, so I'm going to show you the difference between keyboards, key switches, keycaps, uh, the ones that I found that worked for me, and show you exactly how to change everything over and how it looks at the end. So let's get on over to it. First thing to understand are the keycaps. Probably pretty straightforward, but they are what you're actually typing on, pressing on, looking at, at your keyboard. Uh, and keyboards have different sizes and different numbers of keys, such as having that side number pad. Second thing and most important are the key switches. I never considered these when I was thinking about what to buy. I never thought about them underneath the keycaps. And uh, there's actually quite a few differences in these between each keyboard and you almost never see them. So this can go pretty well unnoticed. After rereading the description of my keycaps, I noticed they included the term Cherry MX. This led me to do some searching into the Cherry MX website, which educated me on the differences in key switches. There are different colors, which I can't explain why that matters, speedier key switches and quieter ones. The website explains how they are made, what's the difference, and has a sound bite of the clackiness of the different key switches. Which, if you're a PC gamer, you may love the Quicksilver set, or if you're annoyed by loud keyboards, you may prefer the Silent set. You can purchase your own key switches and even replace those in your keyboard to fully customize the board you have, but I would recommend instead buying a keyboard that already has the key switches for you, as buying custom key switches is expensive and requires you to take apart your keyboard fully and replace the switches one by one. Now that I've fully understood the differences in key switches, I had to find a keyboard with Cherry MX key switches to fit my custom keycaps. What I would suggest you do is search by that key term uh, when finding your keyboard. I found this really amazing Republic of Gamers keyboard that's loaded with features and included the quick silver key switches. Now that you've got the keyboard you want, it's time to replace the keycaps. You can use your fingers or a screwdriver to remove each keycap, but you risk damaging your board that way as well as the keycaps uh, if you choose to go back to your old ones. Instead, you can use a keycap remover tool, which costs around $5 and typically comes with your keycap set. I did not realize this, so I bought my own, which is handy because on the other side, it does include a key switch remover if I ever choose to update those as well. Using the keycap remover tool is very easy. You simply just push it or slide it over the keycaps. Uh, it will go over each side and you just pull up and out. On some of the bigger keys, you might need to go on the left and the right side, but other than that, it's pretty easy.
And there you go, it's just that easy. Simply use the keycap remover tool to slide over your keycaps and remove the old ones, push in the new ones, and there you go. You got your whole set. As you saw, it does not take long to do this process, but I'm sure with this video and what you've learned, you'll be prepared to have the right keycaps for your right key switches on a good keyboard to get everything done and get your custom keycaps the way you want them. Uh, now that we've got all that done, Make sure you drop that sub below if we've helped you out. Drop that like, comment. Let us know if we helped you out at all or if you have any other questions that maybe I can help out with or somebody else in the comments can help you out with instead. Uh, and we do also stream here on YouTube every Monday through Thursday, 6 to 9 p.m., playing a variety of games. So come in and check us out, say hello, and let us know if you found us here on this video. Thank you. Everyone have a good night. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Deuces.